Hey, hey Summit, Summit Park, Park kids. kids, roll the title sequence. No matter where you're watching service from today, we are so glad you're joining us. Here's the thing, so Park Kids isn't just for the weekend, it happens all week long. You can get involved by subscribing to Summit Park Kids YouTube or having parents follow Summit Park Kids on Instagram. Don't forget to tag Summit Park Kids and use the hashtag Summit Park Kids every time you post. That's right, and one way you can use that hashtag is by posting a video of you doing the big idea, which we're gonna do right now. Right now. Right now. Right. Are we live? Attention, this year, all eyes are on Christmas. The lights, the presents, the cookies. But this year, Christmas holds more. There's something hidden underneath. The presents, the lights, the cookies. And some of our kids, I need your help. Will you help me hack Christmas? Park kids, the big idea has gone missing, and I need your help to find it. Throughout this video, there will be clues. We can put those clues together to find the code, and using that, we can hack Christmas and unlock the big idea. I need your help, so pay close attention all service long and find all the clues so that way we can unlock today's big idea. I'll be back, but stay focused. I need your help. Celebration Station! Choo-choo! Each week we'll shout out all I love birthdays! Good job! It's time to celebrate all of our Summit Park kids who have birthdays coming up. Happy birthday to Mackenzie, Emsley, Gabriel, Perry, Annalie, Nolan, Abby, Bryson, and Adeline. Happy birthday. birthday! We hope you guys have the best birthday ever. Well, uh, let's jump to what we have next. Uh, what do we have next? Um, we have our Big Word Challenge. Oh, come on. I want to hear it. What is it? All right, our Big Word Challenge comes from John 1, 14. Yes! Okay, what is it? you guys want to hear it? Yeah, let's hear it. It says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. You might have noticed that we do the big word challenge like all the time, all like, the time. like every weekend. Uh, the reason we do this is because we think it's so important to hide God's word in our heart. That means we take the time to remember things the Bible says. We really believe that God's word is chock full of good lessons on how we should live today. Memorizing verses helps us know in the moment how God thinks we should act. That's right, we wanna hide God's word in our heart because we wanna save it when we have a sad day, a bad day, or a really, really rad day. The Bible is God's word and God's word is good, good stuff. stuff. It's, it's offering time. time. Offering is another way to worship. It shows God that we love him more than anything we could ever buy because we wanna spend our money on him. Here's what's really cool. When we give, God takes our offering and he multiplies it and makes it worth even more. Then he uses it to build his kingdom here on earth. So every time you guys give, you're helping God build his kingdom. That's right. If you're here at church, we want you to bring the offering to the offering box at the info bar in the lobby. And if you're at home, then we want you to give your offering to your parents. 
Your parents can give online at the church's website. That's right, our offering verse comes from Malachi 3.10 and it says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. This verse is a command from God to give faithfully, knowing that God will use it to make his kingdom grow. We can still give today. What you are giving is making an impact to the kingdom. You are a kingdom builder. That's right, you are a kingdom builder. Now stand up and say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. I am a kingdom builder. Yes, you are. You are a kingdom builder. Thank you so much for giving. All right, kids, I've been setting up a program. It looks like we are missing three variables to solve today's code. Somewhere in this video are those three missing variables. If we can find them, then we can unlock today's big idea and be one step closer to hacking Christmas. Here are my eyes and ears, Summit Park kids. I need you to help me. Hack Christmas. Okay guys, Christmas is right around the corner. I know you're excited, cause I am too. I always start getting ready for Christmas really, really, really early. Anybody else with me? I set up my tree like three weeks ago and I've already bought all my Christmas presents. And I've made so many Christmas cookies. Now, I know you're thinking, Michaela, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. How are you already getting ready for Christmas? I just love Christmas, okay? I love it. This year, I'm not the only one who's ready for Christmas early. How many of your neighbors already set their lights up outside? Maybe your family already has the lights out too? Well, hey, speaking of Christmas, my cousin Ursula is a big fan of Christmas too. I think today she's opened up a special Christmas box. Let's check it out. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Unboxes with Ursula. I'm Ursula. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Today is a special day because we're getting ready for Christmas. That's right, I'm opening up the It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas box. All right, I can't wait to open this one and see what's inside. But first, we need to open up our Bibles. So get your Bibles out and turn it to John 1, 14. And it says this, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory. Glory as of the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. This verse tells us about how Jesus came to earth, which is the Christmas story. I just love Christmas so much. All right, let's open up today's Christmas box. First, we have Christmas lights. I love Christmas lights. We can put them on your tree, your house, and really on anything. They always make everything so much more exciting. I love putting lights on the flashy coloring mode. It's like the best. These Christmas lights are just like Jesus. He came to light up dark places and that's just what he did. So when you put your lights on your tree, remember that's just like Jesus bringing light into the world. Okay, what's next? Next up, we have snowflakes. You can make these at home and it's super fun and really easy. Anyone here love playing out in the snow? I love to build snowmen and igloos and snow angels and have snowball fights. I just love all snow things. Did you know that every single snowflake is unique and totally different from another snowflake? It's true. Just like snowflakes are all special, so are you. God made each one of us unique and special. and He came for each one of us. Wait, that's our first point today. Jesus came for each one of us. Can you guys say that with me? Jesus came for each one of us. Good job. Hey guys, this is a perfect spot for us to stop and talk about what we're learning today. So in just a second, pause the video and circle up with the people around you. If you're at church, maybe it's your small group. If you're at home, maybe someone in your family, but circle up and, and talk about this question. Take like two minutes, talk about it, and then you can hit play and come back. So pause the video real quick. 
All right, let's uh, jump back in. I think we have one more thing to unbox. Are you guys ready? It's a Christmas tree. Don't you just love Christmas trees? They're the one thing that really shows us that Christmas is here. You know something special about Christmas trees? We use the evergreen tree because the evergreen is, well, evergreen. That means it doesn't die in the winter like most other plants. It lives on, which is just like we can do if we live with Jesus. We can live forever just like an evergreen. Thank you so much for watching today. It was so much fun and I cannot wait for Christmas. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome videos. Remember, I'm Ursula and this was Unboxing with Ursula. I'll see you next time. Okay, so my car kids, did you catch the first part of the code from that video? That's right, it was Jesus came for each one of us. Let's type that into our code, say it with me. Jesus came for each one of us. Okay, let's run the program and see the results. Nothing. Hmm, there must be more to this code. Keep watching and we'll solve this code once and for all. Ursula, that box was so cool. I am so jealous that you always get to open up these amazing boxes. Before we jump into the story of Jesus, I think we need to start with another story. Are you ready for it? If you are, say, I am. Okay, this story comes from Genesis chapter three, starting in verse one. Let's take a look. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God actually say, you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. This story is a story we can all relate to. There's something that we know is wrong something we know we shouldn't do, but we end up doing it anyways. We've all done that. We all make mistakes. Hey, it's that time again. Let's stop, let's talk about what we're learning. Uh, so take a look at this question, pause the video, and talk to the people around you. Let's uh, jump back in. Every one of us has made a mistake before. Every single one. In fact, listen to what it says in Romans chapter three, verse 23. It says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We've all fallen short, but Jesus offers us a gift. Look at what the very next verse says. All are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So even though we've all sinned, Jesus has given us all a gift and that gift is Jesus forgiving us. That's actually our next point today. Jesus came to give us forgiveness. Say that with me. Jesus came to give us forgiveness. That's why Jesus came, to give us this gift. All right, some of the park kids. Did you catch the next part of the code from that video? That's right. Jesus came to give us forgiveness. Let's add this to our code. Say it with me. Jesus came to give us forgiveness. All right, let's try this and run program, print screen, and nothing. Hmm, there must be more to the code. All right, some of our kids, pay close attention. I know we are close. All right, let's talk about it again. Pause the video, check this out. Okay, let's jump back in. What's up guys, Tommy Streams here, and we are back again for another Minecraft stream.
Well, welcome back to my world today. It is a great day to be on Minecraft because Christmas is coming. Who's excited for Christmas? I know uh, Thanksgiving technically isn't here yet, but I'm just, I love Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas. And so I am getting ready for Christmas right now. Anybody, anybody else love Christmas? Anybody else getting ready? Uh, well, like I said, I need to get ready and there's lots to do. I need to set up my Christmas tree. I need to put up the Christmas lights. I need to set up my giant inflatable Santa. Uh, there's just so much to do. And this might take a few episodes to get everything done. Honestly, I've got lots of decorations down in my storage room. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna start today by putting my Christmas lights out on my house. There's all sorts of them. And this is really one of my favorite parts of Christmas is seeing all the house decorated with all the different lights. It's just so exciting. Every single year, I love it. Um, some people put up colorful lights. Some people do all white lights. And some people do lights of all these different kinds, like the ones that like rain, like there's the snow and then they've got the different shapes and then they've got the, the ones that dance. Or have you seen the ones that have like the music and it's like, da -da 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 -da. you know, like, have you seen those? Oh gosh, I love those. Uh, well, I really got my work set out for me today. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to do. So let me get to work and I'll be right back. But for right now, cue the Hyperloop. Well guys, I'm about ready to light up my house for the first time this year. Are you guys ready to see it? And boom! La -da 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 -da. <laughs> that is just so exciting! <laughs> this reminds me of how Jesus came to light up the world. Uh, Jesus knew we all needed him so much and he came and he really lit up this dark world. And now we can do the same thing. Jesus lets us shine just like him. Wait, that's our next point today. Jesus came so we can be a light. Say that with me. Jesus came so we can be a light. Just like my house lights up the world around me, and we can do that too. Uh, so remember that you can be a light in your school, at home, on your teams, wherever you go. Jesus came so that we can be a light. Hey, I got another question for you. Let's, uh, let's see what this one is. Great job, let's jump back in. Hey, thanks again for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more Tommy Stream. Kids. I think this might be our third variable from the video. Did you catch it? That's right. Jesus came so we can be a light. Let's plug that into our code. Jesus came so we can be a light. All right, before we run it, I want to make sure we aren't missing anything. So let's, uh, let's watch the rest of this clip. Christmas is almost here, and there are so many great things we can learn, and so much fun we can have on Christmas this year. But hey, remember why Jesus came. He came for each one of us. And he came to give us the gift of forgiveness. And also, so that way we can be a light. Don't forget it. Well, hey, if you're here today and you're saying, man, I wanna make a decision to start to follow Jesus, let me tell you this. The Bible says it's so simple. All you have to do is believe in your heart that Jesus is God 
and say with your mouth what you believe. That's it, it's that simple. So I wanna give you a chance to do that. If you wanna make a decision to start to follow Jesus, then in just a second, I'm gonna say a prayer and all you gotta do is repeat it after me. And if you've ever prayed this prayer before, I wanna invite you to pray it with us again because I believe that nobody should ever have to pray alone. So hey, everybody close your eyes and bow your heads, close your eyes and bow your heads and let's pray. Jesus, thank you for loving me. I love you too. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Thank you for forgiving me. Jesus, I will follow you from this day forward. Amen, amen. Well, hey, if you made that decision to start to follow Jesus today, let me be the first person to say congratulations. That's the best decision you will ever make. Better than any decision you made before, better than any decision you'll make one day is the decision to start to follow Jesus because here's what it means. It means that you get to live the life that you were made for and that is a life with Jesus. So congrats. Well, hey, we're just about done with service today, but I think we have a couple more things to check out. So let's uh, kick it back to our hosts. Small group time. All right, let's uh, jump back in. All right, so my park kids, I think we're ready to run this program. Say this with me. Jesus came for each one of us. All right, that's part one, part two. Jesus came to give us forgiveness. And then the last part of the code was Jesus came so we can be a light. All right, and execute. It's working. It's running. The code is we need Jesus. Let's plug this in to unlock today's big idea video. Say this with me. We need Jesus. Say it again. We need Jesus. All right, Summer Park kids, it's running. Before I lose you, remember, there is more to the code. Write this down. We need Jesus. We're going to want to remember this. Christmas is coming, and I need your help to hack Christmas. Write down. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. Today's big idea is we need Jesus. Now, we need you guys to all stand, stand up, up stand on up. your feet. We're going to do the motions. Do you have some wishes for us? Uh, we do, we do. Okay. We have, we need Jesus. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's do it all together on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. We need Jesus. Jesus. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. We need Jesus. Great job. Now you guys can have a seat and remember to tag some of our kids when you post these videos of you doing the big idea. Remember to ask mom and dad to log on to summitparkchurch.com slash kids. There you can find lots of resources. If you're in elementary, you can find small group guides and activity sheets, as well as so much more. If you're not in kindergarten yet, we have the Bible adventure videos for you to watch and picture passes and coloring sheets for you to print out. Thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you post your pictures and your videos with the hashtag Summit Park Kids and tag Summit Park Kids. And if you're a church right now, it's time for the raffle. Yeah. So make sure you get all of your tickets out. Get them out. Do you guys have them? Raise them up in there. Good job. Summit Park Kids, we love you. Now go and have the best week ever. And don't forget to be a light. Bye. Bye.